Oh, <laughs> hey, I can bark. Wow, this is very, very, very pretty here. Now the question, this way or that way? Or Sand Mountain and SpongeBob, I'm not sure which it's supposed to be. Oh, wow, that is very, very, very pretty. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Willie B. Coyote, and today we're going to be looking at Spirit of the North. This is a game I actually managed to cop for free earlier today, thanks to my membership with a PC Master Race Discord server. From what I've seen, it's a kind of exploration puzzle type game where you play as an arctic fox, as seen here. I've never played this game before, and I think after having finished the Doom 3 Let's Play last week, this would be a good change of pace before I get back to the explosions, guns, and mayhem of my usual playthroughs. Mojaka. Before we continue, let's get the self-promotion done right out of the gate. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Also, make sure to hit the notification icon on your way out so you never miss an upload. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, who's this then? The game runs on the Unreal Engine, so uh, naturally it looks really good. Okay, so we got a fox there. Not really sure what exactly is happening right now, because again, I've never played this game before, but looks like it could be cool, and I like the music too, it's quite quite relaxing. Okay. What's that supposed to be? Smoke or like a red river or something? Um I'm gonna guess it's smoke or something like that. Oh, okay, so here we are. Chapter 1. I don't know why, but I feel like, uh, I should be heading that way. If that cutscene is anything to go by. So this is Spirit of the North here. This is a really, really, really pretty environment here. Like, you can really see the Unreal Engine, uh, doing its work here. I am always amazed, though, at how, what different kinds of things people can do with the Unreal Engine. Like, uh... Like, I remember for Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun, they managed to give that, like, a retro Doom 1993 pixel art aesthetic, and then you can have stuff like this, you know? Uh, it really goes to show you that, uh, the Unreal Engine is one of the most versatile game engines out there, you know? And, uh... I'm guessing we're going the right way then, we just had the cutscene there. Just, uh... Keep going this direction and see what we can see. This is a really quiet environment right now. Oh, <laughs> hey, I can bark. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, I definitely think I'm supposed to be heading towards this red smoke or whatever it is. It's a really pretty environment. I really am, like, I know I've said that a couple times already, but, uh, this is just gorgeous here. Like, uh,. Not sure what studio made this game, I haven't looked yet, but, uh... Like, they put in the work. They clearly put in the work. Oh, this is very... Wow, this is very, very, very pretty here. Music changed accordingly, too. So, yeah, I definitely think we're heading in the right direction here. Now the question, this way or that way? There's a skeleton here. That's a dead end. So, I guess we're going this way then. Through here. What's this then? Oh! Okay, so we picked something up. And, uh... Now, uh, I think we got our first puzzle here, so, uh... Um, 
we head back the way we came then, or...? Oh, something's happening. Okay, this is promising. Click. Oh, what's happened here? Okay, so we opened our way through. Guess we're continuing then. That's uh, one down, I guess, and all those others to go. You know, ice caves will always be so, so cool. Like, uh, they're just so alien, you know? You know, honestly, like, like, I bet you if we manage to get to planets outside our solar system, we're probably going to find at least one planet that's going to have loads of ice caves on it. Ooh. This looks cool. Okay, what's this then? I don't know why, but I get the feeling we're supposed to go over to it. Ooh. Ooh, a fox spirit of some kind. I don't know why, but something tells me that we should go follow it. Um, okay, so I'm guessing we're supposed to, like, follow in its footsteps or whatever. Um, I really, really hope that, uh, I don't screw this up. Oh! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, I guess not then. Alright. Guess we're not doing that then. We're coming up this way. Hey! Fox Spirit, wake up! Hey! You gonna show us the way or what? Alright, so I guess we're heading that way then. Swag ourselves dry there. Um. Coming up this way. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of puzzle games, to be honest, but there are a few that I like, and I'm, I'm kind of liking this one so far. Oh, oh, no, no, oh. Skill issue. Yeah, I've just made a complete nutter ass of myself there. But, uh, hey, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be gaming if I was, uh, winning all the time, you know? Thanks, Captain Obvious. Alright. Let's, uh, come back up this way again. Okay. Up we go, here we are. I guess you're coming down this way then. Is there no fall damage in this game? That would be really, really funny if there was no fall damage, but it would also be even funnier, I think, if there was... If there was fall damage, and I jumped from a really high place thinking there was no fall damage, <laughs> and only to basically eat it the second I hit the ground. Not a great plan. That would be really, really funny, I'm not gonna lie. Guess we're just following this guy for now. So, oh, he's walking on water, he's Jesus! How did you get it? Jesus! <laughs> Jesus is from Leicestershire! Guess we gotta follow him up that way. Keep leading the way, buddy. Through here. I'm not sure how long this game is. It's an indie game, and I'm not sure if it's like uh, gonna be like a Subnautica type situation where they incrementally release the whole game over the course of a 
certain period of time, but hey, hey, we can sprint now. But, uh... But, uh, so I'm not- I have no idea if this is gonna end up being a series or if I'll just end up finishing it all in one go. But, uh, oh, here we are! It's like Ice Age now! <laughs> yeah, I love the Ice Age movies, I'm not gonna lie. So here... Um... Where's the fox spirit then? Ah, here it comes. Goes up to there. Hey, melt the ice, will ya? Thank you! And here we go, Ice Age again! Or Sand Mountain in Spongebob, I'm not sure which it's supposed to be. There we go, sliding down. Sliding down again. Why not just make it all continuous? That'd be kind of fun, if they just made this, like, a continuous, like, slide puzzle, like in, a Spongebob Alpha from a key bottom. Here we go. Okay, this is a real one. This is a real one. Down we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, chapter progress, saving. I'll probably play this until I get to at least chapter two. Because, uh, I'm liking this so far. It's a really chill, kind of ambient sort of puzzle game. Through here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And here we are. Oh, wow, that is very, very, very pretty. But, you know, looks can't carry a game all on its own. Uh, gameplay has to be first and foremost, you know? Like, you can't have a good game without good gameplay, you know? Because then what's the point of it being, you know, a game? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say! Who was it? He didn't say. Like, I know it goes without saying, you know, like, that a game can't be good without good gameplay, but, uh... Yeah. And sometimes games can be good if they have okay gameplay, as long as the writing's there, you know? Okay. There we go. Oh, there's the fox spirit again. F I'm following you, dude. I'm following you. There we go. There we go, fellas. Down we go. What's this over here, then? Ooh, we got another body. That means we got another puzzle to solve here, I think. There we are. Uh, give this to you then. Up you come. And voila, your soul is freed. Thank you, you're welcome. Saving. That's another one down. Oh wait, did I miss one in between there? Oh well, there's probably replay value. It's uh keep on our way here coming down this way I'm coming in hot yeah I'm not gonna put that old whole song in because let's be honest I'd get sued copyright struck into oblivion if I did that even though I'm not even monetized <laughs> it'd still take away monetization on this video Okay, open that up. Thank you, Fox Spirit, for doing that. I owe you. 
Um... Thank you. Coming down. Sliding, sliding, sliding. Ignore that little pitter-patter you hear in the background. That's just the sound of my dogs, uh, walking around. And... Jump for it! Leap of Faith, Assassin's Creed! Ooh. Ooh. Okay, the atmosphere's changed a little bit. This is, uh... Kind of ominous. Uh... Yeah, this is not friendly looking at all. Oh! What's happening here? Okay. What, am I just gonna take a nap here or something? Uh... I don't... I don't like the look of this. This is, uh... Very... Very, very ominous. Okay, what's he doing? Oh! We just fell down a very far place. Oh man, what happened? Come on, dude, get up, get up, come on. There's more exploring to be done. And chapter two. Probably go a little further into chapter two before we call it, but uh, I'm enjoying this game so far, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I'm limping a little bit now. That's, uh, I was wondering if that was ever gonna become a thing, considering the distances we were falling from in that first chapter there. I really, really love the music in this game so far. This is very, like, uh, chill, very relaxing, ambient soundtrack. Up, oh, sliding down. You really sure I should be doing that when I've, my paws messed up a little bit? Just, uh, gonna follow your lead for now, and, uh, guess I'll just have to trust you. Oh, okay, that's cool. My foot a little bit of a rest there, uh, and it's done absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, we're here. Oh. This is cool. Very, very cool. Just keep following you then, I guess. Ooh, that's, uh, ominous looking. I've seen a lot of human skeletons around, like, look, there's some more bones there, and, uh... Like, I'm guessing something really bad happened. Like, everything was peaceful, and then the Fire Nation attacked. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. It's always the Fire Nation, every single time, you know? 
Just every single time, everything's going smooth and swimmingly, and then the Fire Nation attacks. It's just typical, absolutely typical. By the way, did anyone in the comments below let tell me about the comment in the comments below if you actually heard about this? But apparently, James Cameron is planning on putting a uh, Fire Nation, a literal Fire Nation, Navi Fire Nation, in the next Avatar movie, and they're going to be evil. Like, <laughs> bro. Okay. There we go. Got another one of these sticks here. And I better check back here to make sure I didn't, like, overlook anything. I'll note... But yeah, that's bad. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna check back here with the this stick to see if I didn't miss anything. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Now that's, uh, that doesn't look good. Okay, so the, the staff's just come, come up and started lighting up. That means we're getting close to wherever we gotta take it to. Ah, here we are. Let's, uh, give this guy his staff back. And voila! go. That's another one down. Oh, that is very, 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 very pretty. Wow, this is actually, like, it's like Moses in the burning bush, almost. <laughs> And this isn't an indie game, so this isn't like a big AAA studio to, that did this. This is a uh, small team of people. Might even be even one person. There's indie studios where it's literally just one person making it. Like Cultic, for instance, is just one person doing it. And so, but in indie games like this, you can always feel like the soul and the artistic compulsion that inspired them to create it in every single little detail. Okay, here we are. I'm pooped out, dude. Oh, what's this then? Ooh. And we're floating in the air. Glowing now. Do we get that Fox Spirit's powers now, or become infused with pure ancient energy, infused with light achievement unlocked? Wow. Uh oh So, we made it through the first chapter and a half, I believe, and got an achievement! And, uh, I think that's as good of a spot as any to end today's video. A little shorter one than usual, I think, but, uh, good starting point. I, I think I'll definitely come back to play this game on the channel in the future. I'm really liking it so far. Um, thanks to everybody for tuning in this week. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification icon on your way out. I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!